Previously on Virtual Unlimited Project, Connectivo Beyond once again to explore a permafrost factory, which had some really tricky mechanics. Unfortunately, their teacher, Ice, got infected by the riot and Jan had to stay in the background to manage the temperature. Back at base, Jan surprisingly pulled a prank on Kana by predicting the latter's dialogue. Okay. Have the largest carnival in the city, Happy Edge Amusement Park, suddenly experienced a medium-scale riot incident. The troublesome part is that the riot occurred in the large maze facility within the amusement park. Although staff and visitors have been mostly evacuated, the park manager has lost contact. It's speculated he is stranded in the riot contaminated area. The risk of manager YY being infected by the riot is quite high. Please go for rescue. Start, yes. Okay, this stage, as usual, we just always start with the easy room. Yeah, even though ice is supposed to be good against lightning here, I feel like fire is just really good for dealing with hallways of enemies, especially ones where, the, the, uh, where the, they have decently big hitboxes. Okay, these crystals are teleportation devices. Uh, those guys can go through walls, so you w w definitely want to use the fire shot uh, uh, shot here. Yep. Alright, this causes boxes to fall as well, so be careful. They can probably crush and kill you. Just like in some of the other stages. Ah. Don't have a lot of time to grab that chip. Ah. Yes, just barely. Okay, you can actually just flip them all into the spikes, but that might make traversal a little bit harder. Those looks like you can't still reverse it since there's buttons on the ceiling. And ah, I hit, I jumped the spike like an idiot. Now there are swings, which are a little bit bigger. Okay, yeah, fire shot here is good because since it moves slowly, that means if you go fast enough, you might be able to get more mileage out of it since it'll remain on the screen. Yes, object permanence in these types of games is rare, is kind of weird. Go far enough off the screen, you basically don't even exist. Okay, do that. Crushed by a box, but the coins somehow ended up on top. Weird. You don't let that crush you. Yeah, there's something down there for me to jump on just to get this button. Alright. I really wish the game would not make you lose your charge shot if you use the sword first. That's kind of an annoying feature. Usually, but you, if you use your shot first, you don't lose your charge sword. I don't know why it has to be like that. I feel like that's an oversight. Oh, this one's quite a... Thin tightrope. Ah. These guys might be a bit tough to deal with. Sadly, because of the way you're positioned, I can't just hit them with the fire shot. Ah. Well, I got the record. Seriously, it's like the position perfectly, so I can't just hit him with the fire shot. And you'll get the electric shot until you beat the stage, so that does that won't work either. It turns out I missed a coin here, but not like I have anything to buy at this point. I probably have to 
beat uh, the eight, uh, uh, beat more operator bosses first. Okay, and then there's a heart here. All right, now it gets more confusing. These orbs, they can only be hit by your sword, it looks like. But, uh, but it's still good to just shoot through those walls anyway, just to get rid of any lingering enemies. Oh, I can't reach you from here. Curses. Yeah, I can't just che do a cheap shot. I can just do that, though. The hitbox is just high enough. Ow. I should have air dashed. Oh no, more of those drones that go through walls. Ah! And of course the second one appears. And uh, spikes. Yikes. Uh, I feel like the enemies only drop health when I'm very full in both my R tanks and hit point bar. That seems a little unfair. I wish having lower hit points would increase the drop rate for health items. But I guess it seems to be the opposite. I missed my jump. Okay, actually, that was not the right choice, probably. Do not stand under that. Oh, it's not, not playing a good hitbox for this. Ugh. Maybe I should have just jumped off completely and then slashed. <laughs> ah! It's always hard when they're above me. Okay, now go down instead of up. Uh, spikes everywhere. Honestly, it might be easier to just double jump from when from the same color. We okay, got Trap Master. That's supposed to reduce spike damage. Sadly, it costs four. That could be difficult to use. Got SP up.
Not good. Hmm, the idle health thing seems to work even on the swing. Make sure you use air dash here, damn it. Finally found you, you must be Director YY. I'm the rescuer from Neo Babylon, let's get out of here quickly. Why is everyone so happy? Eh? That's right, in Happy Edge Amusement Park, happiness is a duty. I'm too late. But yeah, staying in this kind of environment and not getting infected would be strange. Dear VIP, are you entertained? Have you fulfilled your duty? Well, under these circumstances, it might be hard to feel entertained, right? I understand, VIP. If you're not entertained, then please die! Oh, this guy's gonna be a pain to no damage. <laughs> that should do it. We only could have used this power before. Never mind, it's all in the past now. Oh, uh, what happened? You're awake. I'm here from Neo Babylon to rescue you. Do you remember what happened before? Hmm, the amusement park may suddenly detect the right reaction. And I immediately activated an emergency plan to organize the evacuation of visitors and staff. As the director, the second most familiar person with the maze, I definitely had to cover the guest evacuation. And then it seems like I tried a bit too hard. Heh. <laughs> yes, you already tried very hard. Leave the rest of the cleanup work to me. By the way, what do you do to me? Has Neo Babylon already researched a solution to the riot? Well, Mr. Wawa, you're a smart man. You should know what to do before the official announcement is made. Uh, maybe a bit of the riot's influence is still lingering. I suddenly feel a bit forgetful. What were we talking about just now? B rank. Carnival. Mm. Good job, Kana. The mission was completed perfectly. You're getting more and more skilled, huh? Thanks, Blue. After all, I've completed so many missions. It's a piece of cake. With this power, I can help even more people. Even if I have to sacrifice myself, I won't hesitate. Well, wow, well said. It's also helped to prevent Kana from sacrificing herself. It's my duty. Right and Happy Edge Amusement Park quelled. Right and Happy Edge Amusement Park has basically subsided, and the park area has suffered minor damage. The incident caused five people to suffer minor injuries. For information on the repair and reopening time of the park area, please follow the official account of the amusement park. Why, why? The director of the Happy Peak Amusement Park and uh, an operator. He's undergone basic combat training. An operator who wants to spread joy to others and seems to have good luck. The Happy Edge Amusement Park became the most popular amusement park due to a series of coincidences during its design and construction, even involving Dr. Ridley in the design. Spike Gyro, or Wyro, a flying type enemy generated from the right. It attacks by spinning its spiked shell. A strong attack can break the shell. Or in this case, I just used the fire shot. You know, fire shot is really good for dealing with enemies that hide behind walls and such. It's kind of an equalizer against some of the more annoying ones like the uh, uh, Wyro Dagger. It's a creative device infected by the riot. Intended to buy time for civilians to escape, but it automatically turns at nearby riders. Easily destroyed. It's not much of a threat to operators, even though it's supposed to be. Why why skill practice? Oh my gosh, those guys.
Yeah, I'm sniping the shit out of you. Oh my goodness, they're above me too! Carnival laser? So he just- it's just like him automatically shooting for me, huh? Oh my goodness, this is actually- why is this so- Ugh. Wow, I actually felt a bomb of doom in a freaking tutorial, what? Okay. Seriously, no damaging this guy's gonna be a tough one. To dodge a spinning lightning attack, you must bait him into throwing the grenade into the corner, and then jump over it. Immediately use charge attacks to break his shield before he can heal too much. But make sure to jump when the lightning splits into two balls that travel across the floor and walls. If he uses his bouncing shots, note their trajectory is always the same and that the top left corner is always safe. Though it's also really hard to find opportunities to attack. Okay, last but not least is his laser attack. This one has a lot of opportunities for you to counterattack since he stays in basically the same spot. But you do have to move pretty quickly to find all the safe spots. Okay. Managed to hit him before uh, his shield with a, uh, with a shot, so that should weaken it a bit. Now I'll use Ice Shield Crystal, but due to my extender, I'm not sure if that actually affects the durability of the shield. Is this supposed to be based on your hit points? But what about the damage you take from having the extender? Does that also make the shield weaker? I don't know for sure, but it lasted long enough so that I could out DPS him anyways. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Virtual Unlimited Project. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.